What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, and welcome back to Gearbox. So today we have a spicy topic for y'all. Um, obviously, we're in the truck. Usually, when we're in the truck, we're talking about the truck. But today is going to be a more broad, sweeping conversation around Ford. And yes, you guessed it. We are talking about the Ford 10R80 10-speed transmission. Um, now, if you've been in the truck, uh, you know, Ford truck game for a while, maybe you're new to the truck game and you're researching and you're seeing all this shit about how Ford truck transmissions are just not great. Um, this is kind of correlating directly. Um, basically, guys, this transmission, as far as I recall, um, it started in like, let's call it 2014, 2015. Um, and it's still being used all the way up the line from, you know, F-150s, Ford Rangers, Explorers, like, there's a lot of applications for this transmission, and ultimately the transmission sucks. Now, the first thing I want to say here is I personally have not experienced any of these issues. Maybe a little bit of clunking in my transmission, but no catastrophic failure, no catastrophic issues, um, just something that I'm very cognizant of because I don't want to fall victim to this. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's really just a game of chance. There's nothing you can do to really, I don't know, eliminate yourself from the pool of possible lucky winners. Um, but it's something we're going to have to deal with anyway. I do know some people that have been directly affected by this. Uh, but not me, so just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there before we get on with the video. But regardless of who has experienced something up to this point and who has not, ultimately what it's going to come down to is a recall. And you might be telling yourself, well, John, recalls happen all the time. It's really not a big deal. You know, you're, you're making this a bigger deal than what it should be. And, uh, you know, in some ways I agree as far as recalls happen all the time, but what doesn't happen all the time is transmissions getting recalled. Here are the two options. When a transmission gets recalled, the two options are you either drop the transmission and, you know, rebuild said transmission with better parts, uh, wh whatever parts are causing the failure, uh, you, you replace those parts and make it better. The problem with that is that is unbelievably time consuming because not only is dropping a transmission time consuming, taking apart and reassembling a transmission is very time consuming as well. So with that being said, um, the, really the only other option is to say, okay, you have a 10R80 transmission and your uh, F-150 and you're bringing it in for a recall, we're just gonna slap a brand new transmission on it because the cost for us to reassemble or, or you know, rebuild said transmission and do all the labor and whatever, that's not worth it to us. We'd rather just, you know, take one out, put one in, take one out, put one in, because there are so many vehicles that are gonna be affected by this recall that if they were to do all of the, you know, manual labor piece of it, guys, it would take forever. It would be an absolute disaster. It's already a disaster, don't get me wrong, but it would be a nightmare. And Ford, Ford's, gonna have some problems guys and I love Ford I, I've always like growing up my parents always had Fords I've always loved Fords um, obviously I bought a Ford I have no problem with Ford but they're gonna be shit out of luck here real soon and I'm really really interested to see how they react to it because this can go you know one way as far as Ford having an issue and them conquering that issue and saying you know what guys we're gonna right our wrongs and blah 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 or they're gonna get kicked in the face and they're just gonna curl up in a ball and cry about it it's 
that serious of a problem. And what's so interesting to me, and this is getting a little bit kind of outside of the scope of, uh, you know, this video, but what's interesting to me is just the economy and the world and where we're at today as, you know, the United States of America. Um, the economy, the, the cost of labor, the amount of workforce that's out there, you know, all of this plays a huge, huge role into determining Ford's opportunity cost of either rebuilding transmissions or just straight up replacing transmissions. And I genuinely have no idea which direction they would go, but something's gotta give. This transmission has been problematic for way too long, and it's only a matter of time before, you know, your initial bad apples get fixed, and then the next round of bad apples, you know, enter the chat, so to speak. And it's going to keep happening if it's a, you know, lack of quality parts that are in there. Shit's going to continue to break. It's a mechanical part. It's not something that you... You know, it's not like your four-wheel drive system that you use once in a blue moon. Your transmission is your truck. Like, it is what it is. So, I don't know, guys. I was thinking about it, and I thought, you know what? This would be a really interesting video, because I want to hear your comments down below. If you were Ford, what would you be doing? You know, based on your knowledge of the situation at hand, what makes the most sense to you? Because I think this is a tough one. Um, obviously, Ford is a massive company and they hold a lot of water uh, from like a market share perspective. Um, but I'm interested to see how they react and, and what the public kind of view of that reaction is. Um, so anyway, guys, you know, any ideas, thoughts, questions, whatever, drop them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, or better yet, if you think that Ford is going to full out replace transmissions, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And as always, guys, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know the drill. And until next time, peace. <laughs> 在自己那张脏乱的床